Welcome to our first logo training video. Uh, the way this works is I want you to look on your desktop. Your stuff will always be quite a bit different than mine. But find the one that's called FMS Logo and either double click it or click it once like I did and press enter. When it launches, this is a program called FMS Logo. We are going to learn how to program our computer using this awesome program. At this point, because it's cool to get everybody off to a successful start, I would like you to check your people right beside you, your neighbors that are using the computers, and make sure that they also uh, were able to launch FS FMS Logo. Once you've got your neighbors on track, you can continue. All right, now that you're in FMS Logo, I'm going to teach you how to start drawing awesome things like this. Notice this person created a word called house so that this all happened. They also used a command called clear screen to get rid of it so that it hides. And they shortened it to CS. I'm going to teach you lots of shortcuts as we go along. The first thing I want to tell you about is this little fella here called the turtle. The turtle is who you command to go places. We're going to type forward, and I'd like you to do this with me, and put 50 and then press enter. Notice he draws a line forward 50. Once again, I told you this is a turtle, and you need to have done this on your screen, and this is his nose. We need to talk about the compass rose. His nose right now is pointing at the number 0, which is his heading. A heading is a direction you travel. The four headings we're going to use most are 90 degrees, which is to the right of your screen, 180, which is towards the bottom of your screen, and 270, which is to the left. Using this knowledge, and there's a sticker on your computer screen that helps you remember that, I would like you to make a square. So let's type set heading, and let's type 90 degrees, and press enter. Notice he is now aimed to your right. We're going to do that same forward 50. This time I'm going to type it a little shorter by doing FD50. Once again, I'm giving you the shortcuts quick. Uh, you'll see this reminded throughout the movies. But the next time we do set heading, we're going to do set heading, and we're going to tell it a different direction. Right now, see if you can guess what the set heading would be. Notice the short heading, uh, the shortcut for set heading as well. Hopefully you looked at your... Um, sticker and you thought of it and you said oh I want him to go this way which is heading 180 type your forward 50 again using the shortcut and finish up making a square when you've got yours looking like a square please go to the next training movie if somehow you mess up just do clear screen again and start over and get that square as quick as you can all right, if you got it to here, that is really, really good. If not and you have a question, please turn on your call light so I can help you. Um, this is not quite perfect, though. Perfect is when we bring our turtle back to what we call home. The home is the zero, zero screen that is the center of everything. It's the center of our little universe. I'm going to show you another awesome trick. Uh, I want to click, and I'm going to reuse our numbers. So by clicking that forward 50, I can move up. Now I'm going to make a uh, square to this side by reusing our numbers. If I look at my little compass rows, if I want to go this way to make a second square, I use this number. So notice I've got the 270, and look at where my turtle is aimed. I do the forward 50 again. Now I want to come this way. What would you use? you could scroll up and you could maybe see the number hopefully you were quick enough to figure out oh yeah you want the 180 which is downward when you've got two squares on your screen by following these steps and doing a couple on your own check your neighbor and move on if your screen is not clear simply hit CS and go to this next piece of training alright ladies and gentlemen you made your cool two squares and now it's time for us to make our first cool word. To teach logo a word, you click file edit and then you have to type the name of the new word up here. Our new word is going to be SQ, which stands for square. Anytime you do a new word, you click after the Q or after the word and press enter. So these are like slices of bread on a sandwich where you've got the top slice, the bottom slice, and the peanut butter and jelly in the middle. Our peanut butter and jelly is going to be just like this. We're going to save forward 50, 
and then we're going to say write 90. And how many sides would that make? Hopefully you say, oh, that's one side. So we're going to do edit copy and press enter. And we're going to do edit paste. And we're going to have two sides. Well, the square has four sides, so we need to copy them again. Notice I'm selecting both. So I click and drag. And then I'm doing edit copy. Notice the control C. That's a cool shortcut. And then I'll look here. Control V is paste. So I'm going to use the control key and the V is in victory to paste it. When you've got your four forward 50s and your four right 90s, uh, this is a new command, but it's a lot like set heading. Uh, we are going to hit File, Save, and Exit. And then you can go back to here to test your new word. To test the word, I would type CS, and then I would type SQ and press Enter. Notice it draws an awesome square. Follow those movies just like that so that you can have your own awesome logo square. All right, friends, you've just created this awesome word square, which draws all by itself. At this point, I simply want you to click File, Save. It pops up this little window, and I want you to choose the Documents folder and just type Logo in your name. I've done a lot of these, so I'm going to put 27 after, it's 2017 after mine, and then just hit Save. And your work is safe. And you may continue with the lesson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to teach you about another awesome command. It is called repeat. Uh, you can see here that I have already typed clear screen. And uh, got my screen clear. I'd like you to clear your screen as well. And then I would like you to type the command repeat. And then I would like you to put the number 20 after it. This 20 is how many times it's going to repeat. And then in the brackets, I would like you to have the square that we created draw. And then I'd like you to have the turtle turn right uh, 10 degrees. When you put the brackets like that, you have finished the command. I would like you at this time to pause my movie with the space bar. And then on your logo screen, I'd like you to press enter so that it can draw uh, without you seeing what it's going to look like. That way it'll be kind of a surprise. All right, hopefully you hit pause and already hit enter on your computer. This is what it'll look like when you're done. Notice it drew all the squares going around the screen, which is pretty doggone awesome. If we want to make it go all the way around the screen, I'm going to click clear screen and make it end. Hit the repeat 20, and instead of 20, change it to 45. Now when you press enter, voila, it goes all the way around the screen. I would like you to keep fiddling with this by clicking on the numbers and changing the different degrees. Instead of 20, I'm going to try, i got to click down here, instead of 10, I'm going to try 35. Oh, I screwed up and put numbers in front. I'm going to get rid of those, make sure it says what it's supposed to, and says write 35. Notice they overlapped. I'm going to clear the screen, and I'm going to click and do that again. Keep clicking on these and trying different numbers, seeing what kind of cool things you make. I'm actually going to get smart. I'm going to put a clear screen in front of the repeat so it clears automatically. There you go. Keep trying these and seeing what kind of cool things you can come up with. Make sure you never make that number bigger than 200. Make sure you never make these numbers bigger than 360. I'm going to see what 359 looks like. There you go. Isn't that crazy? So... After you've tried like five or six combinations, you may continue. All right, this was pretty neat, but let's make it more colorful. There is a command called set PC, and you can put numbers from 0 to 16 in it. I'm going to put in set PC 1. Notice nothing changes, but when I run the program again, so when the code actually executes, and here's the execute button that I do by just pressing enter, you can see that now it draws using the color blue. So I would like you to change to some different colors. And then after you change to the colors, test them to see what colors they make. See if you can figure out five or so colors and then move on. All right, let's add something even a little cooler. So we've got our repeat. I'm going to make it 100. I'm going to do my bracket. Now it's important that you don't go past 100 or uh, 200 because uh, you can make the computer work too hard it might crash but I'm gonna draw my square I'm gonna tell it right 20 I'm gonna add a new command though I'm gonna put forward 5 after it 
And uh, you know what? Just for kicks, I'm going to put a left 20, and I'm going to do a uh, another square. So now look at inside my brackets, I've got two squares being drawn each of these hundred times. Let's see what it makes. Whoa, it made like lines going all the way up and down the screen. That's just crazy. I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to click it again. I'm going to put a CS in front of it so it clears each time. And I'm going to try a different one. I'm going to get rid of the square and just see what it does. Still went up. I believe it did it because my right 20 and my left 20 just canceled. So I'm going to tell it left uh, 65. So I'm making a uh, bigger number. Now notice I accidentally typed it in front. I click, I come down to the bottom, and I'm going to change that to a 65. There it made something funky. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to go out, and instead of right 20, I'm going to make it right 33. Just because I'm testing different things. Look how awesome you can make these just by fiddling around and changing your repeats. Um, I will also show you that you can do set pen color. And the next time you draw it, it draws in funky colors. I will also tell you that you can do set pen size. And it'll draw it in funky sizes. So right now, I just want you to explore and find some super cool ones that you can show me and your neighbors as we're working through this project. I was just watching you guys work, and it dawned on me that there's a cool addition I can give you for your projects. If you add a little weight 5 at the end of your repeat, when you draw it, and I'm going to put a CS in front of mine, it stutters as it draws. So you can kind of see how it all happens. Add that to your list of things you try before you quit this lesson. Alright, at this point, go up to your FMS logo uh, file button and just click save. Don't hit save as because you have to give it a new name. Congratulations on completing lesson one. Check with me and I'll show you what we're going to do for lesson two.